A new captain, but Dean Mum missed the team photo, instead rushing to his wife's side to be present for the birth of his first child, Wally taking his place in the front row. Someone ring Mummy, quick. He's up in London uh, doing his best, and we're waiting to hear some good news, hopefully, but uh, like that everything's cool. I think it would have been that uh, he'd, be, he'd be a very happy man right now somewhere, I'd imagine. That's very good news for him. With regular stand-in James Slipper ruled out because of concussion, there was no better candidate than Mum for Michael Checker. He's got that experience, you know, he just has that uh, cool, composed um, sense about him, but he can also fire up when he needs to, and he, he's um, got good detail, I just think he was a good choice for it. Ben McCalman and Drew Mitchell, the vice-captains, the appointment capping a remarkable comeback for the Toulon winger. I think the last time I touched the ball at a World Cup, I tore my hamstring, so... Um, hopefully, hopefully my next one won't be the same. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, you know, on a, I guess on a personal level, you don't want to finish um, any sort of campaign or, you know, um, because of injury. And um, you know, I've been uh, fortunate enough to be to be given some selection uh, in in this squad. All up, there's 14 changes to the starting 15. The competition for spots heating up ahead of the England clash. It's only raising the, the level of standard. Um, and that's, uh, you know, to try and, you know, to get the best out of each other. And, and I guess when you look at it holistically, it's going to improve the team's results. So I think it's fantastic. 